Life wasn't easy when I was a boy. It was 10 years after the Great American War. My pa was one of the lucky men who returned. But he came back a different kind of man. Some of the wounds still evident. The rest buried in his soul. It got worse when Mama died from the fever. We were alone. Paul even said God must have forgot about us. But he was always a man of his word. He kept his promise to a dying soldier. That's how Miss Hattie and Grace came to stay with us. That changed everything. But his kindness wasn't much appreciated by the townsfolk, including my grandpa. Of course, Paul wasn't one to pay no mind to what others thought when he knew what was right. And that's about when things got interesting. Traps? Lucky you never smiled at me. Guess not. already? Now, Gracie, stay close. Don't run off. You hear me? Yes, Mom. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Mm. Well, there are a lot of eyes on her. Grandpa wants me to go to school there. Your grandpa wants a lot of things. You don't need none of that here schooling. Come on. You don't need any of that here schooling. All right, kids. Line up, line up one by one. Here we go. What is whispered in the wind gets carried to the trees. Oh, they can't hear us from here. What she's saying doesn't need words. All right, all right. 
Here we go. Paul, can we go inside? Yeah. Uh, you kids behave. We will. Okay, can you? I hear the new school teacher's all right. All starts is what they hear at home. Yeah. And what they see with their own eyes. Oh! <clears throat> Thank you. I saw that. Kevin, I have a word with you. Kevin! Um, lemon, cherry. What's that one? Good morning, Miss Hattie. It's good to see you. Thank you. Oh, oh, so you got a list all ready for me. I sure do. I'll bet you two would love some of my new maple candy. Can we, Mom? No harm in a few. Okay. Well, I think we got everything you want. We'll get it all together for you. Thank you. Now, Emmett, don't be mule headed. Listen. Look, the word says that if any man doesn't provide for his relatives, especially members of his household, that he is denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Part of my ignorance, right? But isn't it St. James that says pure religion? is to take care of the widows and the orphans in their affliction and to keep himself undefiled by the world. Emmett, them Negroes are living up under your roof. Patty and Grace. That's their names, Edmund. Use them. People are talking, Emmett. The whole town is talking. You've got a single woman of color living in sin with my former son-in-law. The only sin being committed here is bearing a false witness. My daughter will be heartbroken to see what come of her family. Did she dare use my wife's memory to spit your ignorance? She knew more about loving her enemies than you ever will. You can twist the words of God around to suit yourself, Emmett. You'll be the one to judge you in the end. tried to steal my pig. Go get some tobacco from the store. Why me? I think there's something wrong with it. Because I say so, that's why. I'm screaming like a wild man. <laughs> yeah. I had to catch him with my rope. But when I did, did I ever lay a whooping on him? <laughs> I think a dog even felt sorry. <laughs> Emmett Murphy. Jacob. Good to see you, lad. You too. Where's that old geezer McKinney? Yeah, he's taken ill a little bit, but uh, I came by to get his black medicine to go. All right, be right back. You know, I hear that Southern black barley is the best medicine for you. Better than red, yellow. Fresh as the morning dew. Fine white neck oil. What do I owe What you got there, lad? Air trade. But you think, Mr. Murphy, that black bourbon keeps you so healthy, isn't it? That'd be enough ribbon, Cal. What's your real business here, boy? Apologies. I reckon I have to retract that last statement. Appears it can't be all that good for you. Seems it makes you go deaf. You hear me? said it makes you go deaf. It's not pretty bad. <laughs> Told you it made him deaf.
Can we help you? Need some tobacco. So, you must be that Negro they're all talking about. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Pretty. See why he likes you. You know, I almost had time with one of your kind down in Virginia. This tasty little chocolate. Don't touch it. <laughs> hey, why don't you just take your tobacco, pay up and leave. What if I'm not done shopping? Huh. You're done shopping. Now listen, I can eat and walk out of here real nicely, or I'll throw you out. You ain't the law around here. Wrong answer. Don't start what you can't finish, old man. Old man. Gerald. What? I asked him to leave nicely. Where'd you learn to tussle like that? Learned a long time ago. Folk like that, their bark's usually worse than their bite. You okay? Thank you. You folks don't get into town. No shop keeps going mad. Here, what are you doing? Oh. Something extra. Oh, that Negro and her kid are over there. I'm just fooling around. Yeah. Got the jump on me. Oh, that man. He was trying to hurt Grace. I stopped him like this, but then. See you. See you. One big Negro sympathizing family you got, Murphy. Let's <laughs> get everybody in the way. Oh. You know, Murphy, folks around these parts say you're some kind of hero. Word is, you killed you a dozen gray coats. Those gray coats are men. Killing them made me no hero. Sounds like a hero to me. Came back with a medal and a pretty Negro to replace his dead mystery. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I also die a hero today. You. You? Enough. Go on now, Emmett. Come on, boy. Paul was fighting in there. Wait, what? He pulled the gun on somebody and he didn't Hold on, baby. What? He had a gun and there's only guy pulled the knife. The guy from the shop. Where? Who? Yeah, right. I had to get them kids on that wagon. Go back. Give it. Give it. What? You're gonna act like a heathen. Would you let that boy come and live with me? You ain't fit to be a father. You know what? You make grandpa. You're not hard enough. He's a preacher. Unless you start acting like me. Why do I fall? See your family be separating for them Negroes. Well, Lord knows I accept all kinds, but yeah, it'd probably be best if they never showed up in the first place, huh? Well, you can't fix that now. <laughs> well, now, every problem got to fix it. Now, we all good Christian folk. 
You ain't gonna hurt nobody. Of course not. Just gonna uh, set things right, it's all. Send them back on down south where they can fit in better. More they're kind of mixed with. And there is a nice, easy, quiet like way to get it done, too. Just like magic. You boys looking for trouble? I got something for you. How many cheeks you got to churn, preacher? Mama, what's a Negro lover? Supper, right? Think you can take care of old Jasmine for me? Yes, sir. I've seen you do it a hundred times. Handle yourself like a man and clue fist the cuffs. My mother had done past Hattie. What'd you do this time, Murphy? <laughs> Something I reckon I regret. How you doing? Good, good. So what, you trade in on Martha? I had to retire. She's pulling the apple cart in Battle Creek now. Right. She's happier. Oh, Miss Hattie, looking as pretty as ever. Thank you, Ben. Hi, Mr. Benjamin. Well, look at how much you've grown, Gracie. You know what? Sit on down here. I got a present for the prettiest little girl this side of Lake Michigan. And it just happens to be underneath this here hat. You want to see what it is? <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. This here claw belonged to Chama Charlie. He was the meaniest and the orneriest bear in all of Michigan. Well, one time he snuck up on old Benjamin when I was trying to take one of my very rare bass. He thought he was gonna make a meal out of me. But I grabbed hold of his little claw and I ripped it off. Sent him off into the woods. He was crying like a wounded mule. Now, see, I give this here claw to you. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin. Oh, you're so welcome. You know, the natives say that anybody that has that claw there will be protected from the evil spirits because they're all afraid of Charmal Charlie. What natives say that? Where's my manners? This here is Hester Thicket. She's one of the finest trackers I've ever had the pleasure of traveling with. She's a half native. The good part, the quiet part, the one who don't interrupt my stories. We'll try. Ojibwe, my mother. My father was like you. Mm, well. <laughs> Forget how it goes, but uh, any friend of Benji's is a friend of ours, so welcome to my home. Emmett. Oops, mm. forgot Uncle Kenny's <laughs> medicine. Can I interest anyone in a little bite of rattlesnake juice? Emmett, where's that boy at? He's off tending horses. Lord? What's Grandpa's problem with Daddy and Grace? Don't you teach that we're all your creation? Why can't he see that? I know his heart still hurts. We're losing Mama to illness. If you could help to heal his heart, I'd appreciate that. So Hester and I, we found this one up in the northern parts of Michigan, right there. The log and trade is strong here. They say a squirrel can go from one end of the state to the other without ever touching the ground. Until the log and trade gets too strong. There he is. Mr. Lilly. Oh, you know better than that. Call me Ben. Mr. Ben. By the way, this here is Hester Thicket. Hello, Miss Thicket. 
Justice Hester. So I heard you was out tending the horses. Yes, sir. All by myself. Well, I think that might deserve a little bit of a gift. Got you a bona fide trapper hat. Hmm. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Bradley. Looks good on you, don't it? It's nice, Ben. Do you finish blanket in the team? Yes, sir, Paul. Just like you always do. I watered, fed, and brushed him down. <clears throat> Sounds like Henry might have earned himself a sip of the rattlesnake. Maybe in a couple years. I was raised on it. Look how I done turned yeah, out. I know. How about I some know. cider? Yes. <laughs> How about a smoke off the old pipe? Don't push us up. Who's hungry? Mmm. <clears throat> this hat. Uh, uh. Dear Lord, we thank you for all the blessings you bring to us, old and new. We ask that you protect and keep us in your mercy. Miss Hattie, that there was some of the best fiddles that we've had in many a moon. I see Hester here. Yeah, she can track them, she can hunt them, she can kill them. She sure can't cook them. Hmm. I don't cook. She don't make these fine of fixings every day, huh, Emmett? No, she sure doesn't. Well, we haven't had a decent meal since we stopped through at Fort Mackinac. Speaking of that, I saw Captain Sellers. He wanted me to pass along to you that uh, if you had an inkling to come back and train some of the troops, he'd pay you real well. Yeah, well, the soldier days are over, Ben. Yeah, the captain did tell some horrific tales about that war. I, uh, I'm gonna go. You all right? Good, good night. I'm Freda. I got it. Did I say something wrong? She's not one for war stories. Oh. Oh. Good seeing you again, Ben. It was nice meeting you, too. Thank you, Emmett, for your hospitality and letting Hester and I board here. Anytime. You know, you really should think about that offer that Captain Sellers gave you. War's over, Emmett. Safe travels. All right. Come on. Bye, Mr. Benjamin. Bye, Mr. Hester. Bye. Bye. You're young and be good. Don't be giving your parents no trouble now. <sighs> Sky don't look good. Early snow? It's like that dream I had again last night. Dream? I saw a great serpent of steel. 
spewing smoke and fire. And the gates, the gates of hell opened from its belly. And the angel of death came from a faraway land. Steel serpents. Gates of hell. What'd I tell you about drinking snake bite juice and reading Revelation before bed? <laughs> Whoa. Can we go fishing at the creek? We told Molly we would help bring in supper. Hmm. Okay. But after 10 crawlers, bring it on home. We will. Let's watch after Grace. Okay? Oh, it's coming. All right, boys. The train's coming today. Time to collect the outgoing mail. You're really going to love these northern parts. Probably remind you of your homeland. <laughs> <laughs> My home is where the money is. Do you think this bear claw will scare bad spirits away? I don't know. What about the mean folk in town who don't like us? I reckon they just to scare you. Did you blend in at night? That's what Tommy Fagan said. If God make us not fear the darkness, then why does our own people still be afraid of dark colors? Maybe he just reads too many of those scary Bible stories. Like Uncle McKinney. Do you believe his dream is real? Well, I have me a dream too. After that lesson I gave us about the Israelites set me from Egypt, God told me he was spared from the angel of death. Just like them folk who believe in the blood of them lambs. He told you that? He showed me that. I think that fish just stole my last crawler. <laughs> we best be getting home. Dang it! Now what are we gonna do? It's okay, boy. I got it. He's Don't mine. Don't be an idiot. He's mine. <laughs> Maybe this works in our favor. We can't let it crash. We won't have no buyer. Good joke. Guess it's stuck. Get away. You, you run along up them tracks and warn the train. Meet us on the trail to the hunting check. We gotta get that cargo by nightfall.
Shouldn't be anywhere near them tracks. Okay, but, but what if they cross the river again? Don't worry, I'm going. Just wait here. He's need me home. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like a... Let's get home quick. seconds, we would have been derailed. How long until it can be fixed? Well, we sent word into town. Help is on the way. You best go check on your animals. Hey, kids. You look lost. What do they look like? I think they were the guys from Jacob's shop. All right, very close. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now, what you see? It's train. Well, is it moving or is it stopped? What do you want to do? You want to check it out? Why your eyes got that glassy look to it? The Manitou is coming. Come on, Hester, not the Manitou stuff again. Ben. What? The Almighty has saved us many times. Yeah, well, let's hope you don't need to save us today. She lost? Where is she? What happened? They were running from the noise. They got separated is all. Henry, you were supposed to be looking after her. What happened? I gotta go get my gear. Emmett! Well, where are you going? I'm getting help. Who's gonna help us? The sheriff. The sheriff? The law ain't never done nothing to serve our kind except with ropes and chains. I'm going with you. You ain't leaving Pat. me. Now listen. You're gonna have to trust me this time. Not all like that. We don't all like that. Paul, I, I wanted to fight those guys. I wanted to be strong, like you. But I was afraid. It's okay. We're all afraid right now, Henry. Can you get my gun? I can ride with you. I want you to stay here. 
Wouldn't be entertaining any strangers, you hear? Henry. Be brave, boy. I'm gonna bring her home. You can go on a few more hours, a few more days if God would spare your life, and then it'll all be over. And the moment when we could all be called up yonder is fast approaching. But there is salvation for those that follow the word and live the Christian path. But for sinners, but for fornicators, but for heathens, there is only judgment that awaits you. Now, we all know folks like that even in our own community. Pardon me, preacher, but the sheriff needs a floor right now. It's really not that time, Fremont. Pardon the interruption of your service, preacher. Well, surely we can wait for the benediction of the Lord. Seems the circus train has had a bit of a situation. We're gonna need some hired hands to assist with the wounded and clear the tracks of debris and search for the missing. The missing what? Yeah. Well, the word is there may be some Circus animals have gotten on the loose. Hey, I've always wanted one of those tiger claw necklaces. Oh yeah, uh, I'll take an elephant tusk, please. Listen up. I don't want any stealing, no shenanigans with the circus. If I catch any one of you taking anything, I mean, even an extra long look at the bearded lady, I'll have you in chains. Is that understood? All right, whoever's willing, join me outside. Morning, everyone. I see you formed a rescue party. Much appreciated. It's a search party. The circus train has a bit of a situation. You're welcome to join us. No, no. Uh... I need some help from the law to track down some men who nabbed one of them kids down the East County line. Is it your boy? No, it's the girl. Now I know. I ain't been a member of this church for some time. But I can't imagine the good book has changed any since then. There's a missing child out there and some no good as a fixing the armor. We can't turn our back on the innocent. And let the wicked have their way. I don't care what color she is. Now, don't go calling the church goers hypocrites, isn't it? It's just that the sheriff here has engaged the services of these men to protect the railroad company and to protect this town from some ungodly creatures that might have escaped. Now, I'm sure the fine sheriff here can oblige your concerns in a timely fashion. All right, Sheriff? Of course. As soon as we get this crisis under control, I'll send some men to take care of your matter. Are you sure she isn't just run out on her chores? Them pickaninnies are known to do that. stones. May God judge you in kind. 
Professor. I'll help you find your girl. I once heard her singing in the store, and I thought she sounded quite lovely. Don't pay no mind to those townsfolk, Emmett. They ain't a tracker amongst them. Where's your horse? Beast got it. Beast? Chalmont Charlie? There was no bear. Don't you move, Murphy. Let's open the ball. I like the sound of that. Tell me more about your missing pet. Well, she's big, she's strong, and she is always hungry. So am I. She doesn't like men. I wager she don't like lead between the eyes either. No, no, she's no good to me, dead. Three hundred dollars for anyone who brings her to me unharmed. Hmm? Not a penny if you bring me a fur rug. Understood. All right, here's how we're going to do this. Two groups, one to draw, one to push. fight. So no hard feelings if you want to go bowl your shirt. I ain't got too many true friends, Hammond. You know I ain't ever ran from a fight. I don't boil shirts. Man's got to know the woods, Henry. Trapping, fishing, hunting, all that woodsy stuff. The wilds of Michigan is a strange and wonderful place. Now this is the gunpowder. It's the most important part of the operation. This is the other most important part, the killing part. It goes in here. Did Pop kill a lot of people? Well, that was a long time ago. Would he kill again? If someone did something bad to Grace? Mm. You think Paul loves Miss Hattie? I reckon that he is, uh... Now, the idea here is to hold it hard up against your shoulder. Hands here and here. 
I know that people of color don't usually marry our kind. I don't see why. I love Miss Hattie and Grace just fine. Well, a lot of folks don't see it that way. Now, line your eye up with these points. Do you? Well, yeah, of course, that's how you shoot it. No. Do you think that Paul and Miss Hattie can love each other? Well, I think love is like these here aiming sights. When the two line up together, the bullet sees its way to the target, whether it's painted red, white, or blue. I don't know why Grandpa can't see that. He hasn't been right since your mama passed. Can I take a try? You know there's an old poem about love. It goes like this. Roses are red. Violets are blue. The beauty of it all are nothing like me. <laughs> This here's no toy. This is a weapon. Hattie's gonna throw a fit. She hates guns. Grace! Where are you, sweetie? Grace! Come home, baby. God, please save my child. You, you can't let this happen. You took John from me in the worst way. And I tried to understand, but I didn't give up the faith. But not my baby girl. There's enough hate towards us here. We can't survive yours too. Please, Lord, see me like you saw Hagar. Spare me and much of them. Please, 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 God. <laughs> Afternoon, madam. What do you want? Well, I sure hope you're enjoying the lovely day. You know, the air is so crisp and, and the leaves are, are so... Carl, I'm surrounded by bad poets. <clears throat> you're, a, you're a businesswoman. We too like to engage in the uh, mutually beneficial transactions of the like. I don't need more vaudeville acts. Oh, no, ma'am. I mean, he ain't funny anyhow. No, we, uh, <clears throat> we heard you may be looking to buy a female entertainment act of the, uh, the colored variety. 
What sort? Oh, she's the uh, pretty girl type. Can she sing? Like a canary. I'll give you two hundred dollars for her. <laughs> now nah, it's a it's a mother daughter act. The two go together. See? Yeah, yeah, like one of them duets. That'd just be plain cruel to take a mother from a daughter. Have a heart, mademoiselle. I'm not French, you clowns. I'm Romanian. Call me Sir Chef. Sure, Chef. I too School was chef. taken from my home as a girl. I was trained to dance in the opera. I traveled the world, performed for kings and queens. And finally, I came to New York to dance. But I broke my leg. Got job with the circus, spent 10 years cleaning out animal cages. I give you $300 for them, not a penny more. It costs money to feed the lifestyle. Well, it's a deal. I don't have all day, clowns. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. We have a deal. Well, Miss Chef, it was, it was sure nice to, to make your acquaintance. <laughs> when Axel is fixed, we leave. Don't be late. Carl. Yeah. I need to send telegram immediately. Okay. She's been gone too long. Oh, I need to go looking. David said to Solomon, his son, be strong and courageous, not afraid and discouraged. For salvation is swift for those who... There's something out there, something wild. Like I heard it, it's the beast like Northern. The serpent. From my dream? Oh, it's happening. Paul's gonna get her back. He promised. I've had enough heartache waiting for Paul's promise. Henry, sometimes men have to make decisions. And what we gotta do now. But Paul said that on... we have to stay here and watch the house. Henry, please understand. Just imagine little Gracie up there all alone with that beast. But she's not alone. The men have guns. What? Men? What men? Well, you reckon, Emmett? Two grab the horns and one go around and pull the tail? Huh. We need to know where Grace is. I don't want to risk a straight shot. Why is that? Most quiet. Yeah, I'm serious. I want to hear, hear this time you just let me do the talk. You nearly ruined the whole thing with the circus woman. I am the one who got the deal. What you mean? Two knocks and one bump, Cal. You said two knocks and one yeah, bump. Wait, boy, it's said, almost Cal. payday. Got one more passenger to pick up. That circus chef. She won't take the kid without her mom. What? Now that could get dangerous. Preacher gonna owe us. Preacher gonna owe us. Talked her up on price, too. That means 20 whole dollars for each of you. Finally teach that Emmett Murphy a lesson. Nah. We're only there to take the Negro. Once whatever else happens in the mix, well, it's part of the 
steel. <laughs> you never know what could happen in the mix. <laughs> huh, Sally? Did you hear anything about the train? No, but I think it's a good thing we haven't. I'd be more concerned if there was a lot of talk around town. Good evening, Reverend. What can we do for you? Preacher? Really sorry to bother you at this hour, but uh, I was hoping to get a spoon of that elixir from my stomach. Jerky's a little spicy, is it? Well, it's either that or my uh, sleepless nights. The preaching has been good, Edmund. You don't need to fret over that. I truly thank you, Opal. I'm not sure it's helping anyone. You see, it's this disunity that I'm bothered by, even in my own flesh and blood. Do you remember when Gerald first came to town? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, I believe you called me a merciless redcoat. Oh, and a tea-drinking colonizer. <laughs> Well, now I was a bit impetuous as a younger man. Oh, no, a lot of people felt the same way about him. Yes, but, uh, you know, given time, proved us all wrong, Gerald. You're, you're a wonderful man. <laughs> Reverend, a lot of people that are different can be disliked because of unfounded fear or lack of knowledge given time to know their true heart, well, they can turn out to be wonderful people. Given a chance, given some time, they can prove us all wrong. Ah, uh, Reverend, I was uh, gonna bring over some extra edibles for the parsonage tomorrow, but I think tonight's better timing, huh? Oh, and, uh, for the stomach. Gerald, Mopal, I thank you kindly. Good night, Reverend. Good evening. idea. Now, I didn't want to hurt no one. Dad, ah. after Mama, I heard them say they were going to sell us for money. Just shut your mouth! <laughs> we gotta go. No. It's danger out there. We can't take her with us. You're right. You stay here with her. I'm going after those men. I won't let them take Hattie, and I won't let them hurt any more than my family. If I don't make it back tonight, you wait for dawn, and you'll 
straight to town. Grace, remember those pretty songs you used to sing? Remember them? I need you to sing one of them, okay? I won't be back for you. I won't leave you alone. You understand me? Believe me? Okay. You pray. Okay? I'll come back for you. Jesus, give me home and sweet repose with thy tenderest blessings as my eyelids close through the long watches made thy angels spread their white wings above me watching round my bed watching round my bed <laughs> Hey, I owe you my life. Well, I hold you to it. Yeah. You're gonna make it. What's this? What you got? Find him. Take care of him. Yeah. You're the only one I can trust. Promise me. I promise you. You're gonna make it out of here, though. You're gonna make it out of here. I promise you that. All right, you stay strong. Is that what you want? I can't save him. I can't save him! <sighs> you can. You. You can. And I need you. I need. I need you. I need you now. Please help me. Please help me. It's poor, miserable. We need your help. God, forgive me. Forgive me for my wrongs. For all my wrongs. Benji. Benji. Good to see you. Sure's rain, Emmett. Sure's rain. I thought you were done for. Well, Benji ain't going out that easy. Where's it at now? I reckon it's close. How'd you get up here? Yeah. Uh, Tall Charlie Claw and that poor feller down there. <clears throat> Me and that cat, we got up close and tussled. Cut it real good. Then he put the bite on me real good. That's all right. I said, don't, I said, look at it, don't touch it. Anyways, that other fella climbed up and put a rope around it. That cat didn't take none kindly to it. Turned around and went after him. He used that time to shimmy up here. After he was finished with him, he ran off. I'd seen him come back a couple times to check. Emmett, that cat ain't hungry. It ain't killing to eat. It's killing to kill. I don't know, maybe Esther was right. Maybe it's some sort of spirit manitou or whatever she was talking about. Well, we had some human kind of fight first. Miss Grace? Yeah, she's okay. 
You know, one of the important things is to keep your rifle oiled down so that you don't get out in the woods and it's rusted up and it won't fire. So you gotta keep, you gotta keep it nice and, and oiled. She'll be okay, Miss Hattie. She has charm mouth Charlie's claw. I don't know how much good that'll do. Well, she also had a dream. About the great serpent? No. Well, that God's gonna save us from the angel of death. She said that? What about Emmett? He's out there all alone. What? Well, uh, we 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 just been noticing your your feelings. Well, stop noticing. There's no. I feel for all of you just the same. Well, don't worry about Emmett. The town folks probably out there too. Oh, that don't comfort me none. Can you walk? <laughs> not straight, not for very far. I'll be a sitting duck. That cat, it ain't like anything I've seen before. I mean, it's mean and ornery. And... He said he tried to rope it. Yeah. The thing's fixing to swallow you, and this kid comes with a rope. Hmm. Something ain't sitting right. Telling you she ran this way. I heard that god awful screaming. We're close. Shut your yappers. We got a dancing demon to catch. The sheriff. It's Bertram. He's eating alive. Oh, God. No. It's a kill bite. Oh, you think he's dead? Or the bloody corpse tip you off? Michael's been to an animal school in New York City. Yeah, I seen a bear rip a deer apart in my backyard, got the same schooling. It's no bear. He wasn't eating. Bear would have tore him apart. That bite right there, it's clean to the jugular. One claw onto the back. What are you saying? Beast is feline. Feline? Is that French for money? From the cat family, you imbecile. Don't you curse my kin. Touch my boy and see what happens. Get off. Go on, old man. One less share of the bounty. Enough already. Bounty. Stop shouting like a dinner bell. Damn it. That cat is coming back. When it does, you go head for home. All right. Everyone's getting a fair share. It's not what Jack said. Jack said he's getting $20. 20 and you told me ten dollars and a beer. Well, some men are better hunters than others. And my boy here is the educated type. His fancy East Coast schooling don't mean nothing. You mean anything. Enough! <laughs> We're just out here as decoys anyway, ain't we, Sheriff? What's he talking about, Sheriff? I heard you hired them Kenner boys to nab the Negro mama and sell her down the river with the circus. Ain't that right? We took the chuckle. Easy now. Everybody, put your guns down. We're all in this for the same thing. So there ain't no use in telling tales. You ain't just rappers again, are you, Jack? You was calling rap. Can you make it? I'll be at Christmas. No, it's true, ain't it? We're just out here to cover for your deal. What was that? Now everyone relax. All right, y'all getting a raise. Three dollars each. Shut up! 
It's out there. I ain't tolerate no more disrespect. Put it down, Sheriff. I'm seeing something, boys. It's his birthday, isn't it? I heard Pa say it. He says Mr. John was the bravest man he ever knew. Once he set his mind on something, there was no changing. You talking about Pa? I guess I could say that about either of them. I'm glad that since he had to go to heaven, we could have you for our family. I know Pa feels the same. Bond is the missus. We'll leave in peace. Say the old man for the negro. <laughs> or else we'll kill him and bust in anyway. Come on, Amy. Don't be stupid. You don't want to die for some negro affairs. <laughs> Count to ten. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Woo! Four. Five. Where's Emmett, old man? Sound like the scared shooting of a woman. You better reload quick if we're coming in there. Six. It's okay, Miss Hattie. Seven. You just have to believe. It is well. It is well. With Eight. my soul. With my soul. It is well. Ten, right? Ten. Who was that? What? by the beast. Most everyone's been killed. Yes, we know. We should get the girl home. No, it's not safe. We wait till sun up. All right. You, you sit there. All right. 
You're right. You're right. We should wait this out. I've been meaning to put him away. You know, it ain't right what people are doing, how they're treating them colorful. It ain't right. You did good. We can get some sleep now. It's okay. We'll take her home in the morning. I should go out there. No, no, I'll wait. They might still be out there. Fine, she's with Hester. What happened here? You uh, said she was just lost. I don't. Hey, hey. Where is she? And, and don't lie to me again. I won't. She's fine. She's with Hester, holed up in the shack right now. No more Kenna clan to worry about. There's another group that may be headed our way. And there's that killer out there. She's okay, though. No, she's not hurt. No. No, she's fine. I held her in my arms. What about Mr. Benji? I reckon he'll be okay. He's as tough as a winter oak. You, boy. Be good tonight. I'll just work on your aim a bit. Where's your uncle at? He was out there when... You didn't see him out there? What did they want with Gracie? The man. Did, did they? No, oh, they didn't hurt her. They, uh, they was, they was just gonna trade you down the line. Try to make a buck. We ain't slaves no more. John done fought and died for that. I know. I was there. Why is it that God lets his people hate each other so? Why are we so blind? How is it that, that Preacher Collins can teach the good book like he do and still hold such hatred in his heart? I think, I think there's a beast after every man's heart. Like that one that's out there now. When we keep our wounds from healing, by letting the pain fester, and that beast just keeps coming. Edmund wouldn't accept God's hand and now he's dying. So he blamed me. And I did too. But now he sees you in this house. Emmett, I ain't trying to replace Ellie. Okay, I told you I'd go live someplace else. I'm not gonna trade his approval for doing what's right. Taking us in has made enemies of your own kin. That ain't right. I made a promise. 
you got to take something from him. He often gives you something else. It may not look the same, but I reckon it teaches you something. And I've been trying to accept what he's given me. My boy, my land, Grace, and you. I'm a slow learner. Uncle McKinney yet? Not yet. We'll go check on the horses. Won't you fetch me a spade soon, all right? I figure these sickly bones ain't what it's looking for. Where you hurt? Oh, I live. Uncle McKinney, you're alive. Can we go get Grayson now? Yes, ma'am. Why you got that silly look on your face? You survived. Well, yeah, but no thanks to you or any of my friends. You leave me out here like a damsel in distress and cat tore up my leg. You're supposed to have Grace. Grace. Has to end thinking, did you lose that child? Oh. Oh. Okay. Don't you worry now. You rest here. We'll be back soon with Grace here. Okay. They're back! Who's great? Who's great? You're sure. He has turned. The tracks. No, where is Head she? Head east shack. Where is she? What happened? All right, listen, what? this is what we're going to do. Not again. Henry, I need you to stay here and guard the fort with the men, all right? Uh, I won't let you down, Paul. Esther, you're with me. <gasps> see the two tracks. No. Head! Head, Joe! Stop! Stop! This can't keep happening! I can't take it anymore! I need her! I need her! I'm not losing my girl! No! 
Neither am I. Neither am I. Save your voodoo magic for the circus! Miss Hattie, I come to bring aid. Is there anybody that needs help? The other one couldn't make it. She's worth just the same. Sing. Sing, I said. It's okay. Sing for your mother. Lovely. Don't move! Don't be foolish. Your life ain't worth hers. Stay poor woman. Take it easy, okay? I was only trying to help this poor orphan. Give her a place to call her home. Her place is with her family. So hand her over and no one gets hurt. It's too late for that, Sonny. Mr. Emmett! She's your family. She's not your girl, Murphy. She is my girl. Her and her mama belong with me. You ain't gonna shoot me. You done lost a grit for killing. So. 
Let's see if you got the grip. You have your money, Sheriff. Let her go. You get out of here. I'm gonna take care of this outlaw. I looked over Jordan, what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. I saw a band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. If you get back to heaven before I do. Coming for to carry me home. What is this? You should not. I sent telegram to the governor. It is against the law to sell emancipated slaves. Don't you turn on me. Who's the outlaw now, Sheriff? That's my cue. Good day, sir. And you, little lady, you have wonderful voice. I would be honored to have you in my freedom choir. But I think your family will like to have you a few more years, eh? Do I really belong with you? Of course you do. Let's go home. circus train left, we're all a little different. The seeds of change were planted. Fear of the unknown brought us together. It's funny how the wild and mysterious can do that. But that wasn't the end of the story for us. It was just the beginning.